Uh, my name is Grace Okwara and I'm originally from Uganda in East Africa. We came to Canada, my family and I immigrated to Canada in 1993 and we came as uh, landed immigrants. Mm. I've been here, I've lived in Newfoundland since immigrating, which is nearly 28 years. Oh, I love Newfoundland and Labrador very much because uh, there's a lot of friendliness and a lot of warmth in terms of in the people. I've been working at the Association for New Canadians for the past 20 years. Uh, I teach English as a second language to our newcomers to Canada and I'm also the team lead at our language school and so I support uh, our teaching staff with uh, uh, practicing what is called uh, portfolio benchmark language assessment uh, which is kind of uh, an, an initiative from uh, Immigration Canada to kind of uh, ensure that we have uh, portfolios for each of our uh, learners and in that way we it's kind of a method of maybe a way of accountability and how to track their performances and I'm also I maybe think try to behave as a, a mentor to my students and I'm a mother of three having immigrated to Canada in 1993, I did indeed face a, a few challenges integrating into the society, both as a, a woman of color and as a, ma a single mother. Um, the other uh, maybe challenge I maybe recall is, uh, is that uh, getting adjusted to, is that of getting adjusted to the climate. Uh, it was a bit of a struggle for my children and I. I was kind of, uh, once I started working, it was kind of sometimes a bit of a struggle trying to get off from work, pick up my older children from their after school programs and then go and uh, take my younger one from the daycare and then we'd walk on home. So indeed I soon realized that uh, it was essential maybe to have uh, a form of transportation, a vehicle, in order to be able to do, um, uh, uh, to do move around the city more efficiently. And of course that is, uh, that is, which is of course definitely an expense, uh, and a very expensive endeavor for many new immigrants. Um, the other challenge maybe, maybe I could also think of is at the time, uh, there was still maybe a fair bit of lack of diversity. I still, maybe I've mentioned this a few times to friends and all, I still recall kind of uh, uh, memories of when I'm be sitting in the bus and uh, then I see kind of another person of color walking down the street and it would it feel very novel, it was not a very common thing then like the faces that you'd see the most times that you, you'd rarely see another face of color. So I still recall that. And uh, so uh, the diversity, and now of course we have come a long way. We have made great strides in trying to understand different cultures, uh, but the lack of it then made kind of for a fairly steep learning curve for me and it, uh, when it came to even adapting other people's uh, different uh, cultural perspectives and customs. And uh, maybe that is why I do feel actually very uh, grateful to be where I am now in terms of uh, being work, uh, working at the Association for New Canadians, uh, because the Association for New Canadians is actually uh, what I'd maybe consider a great landing for new immigrants uh, since it's an organization that embraces the core values of integration and supports newcomers through their journey.